Hello students, today we will solve two problems from module 2 that appeared in K2 exams. This is a April 2018 question. The question is a single phase semi-converter fed from 120 volt 50 hertz supply is connected to a load resistance of 10 ohm. If the average output voltage is 25 percentage of its maximum possible average output voltage, find the circuit turn of time Tc. Circuit turn of time is Tc. From the question, it is given that the input voltage V in is equal to V RMS is equal to 120 volt and the frequency f is equal to 50 hertz we know that v rms is equal to vm by root 2 where vm is a maximum value therefore vm is equal to v rms into root 2 which is equal to 120 into root 2. In case of single phase semi-converter with the resistive load, the average value of output voltage P0 is equal to Vm divided by pi into 1 plus cos alpha. In the question, it is given that if the average output voltage is 25 percentage of its maximum possible average output voltage. Therefore, first we have to find out the maximum possible average output voltage. So, in order to get maximum output voltage, the firing angle alpha should be equal to 0 degree. Therefore, the equation becomes V0 is equal to 2 Vm divided by pi, which is equal to 2 into, instead of Vm, we can write 120 into root 2. 120 into root 2 divided by pi, which is equal to 108 volt. Next, we have to find out the 25 percentage of maximum possible average output voltage. So, 25 percentage of maximum possible average output voltage. 108 is equal to 27 volt. Using this value, we have to find out the firing angle alpha. So, 27 is equal to Vm by pi instead of Vm, 120 into root 2 divided by pi into 1 plus cos alpha. Alpha is equal to 2.08 radian. So, in order to get the 25 percentage of maximum possible average output voltage, the firing angle alpha is equal to 2.09 radians. Therefore, the circuit turn of time Tc is equal to pi minus alpha divided by omega, which is equal to pi minus Instead of alpha, we can write 2.09 divided by, instead of omega, we can write 2 pi f, where f is equal to 50 hertz. Therefore, the circuit turn of time is equal to 3.33 milliseconds. Moving to the next question, this question is from December 
19 question paper. The question is a fully controlled full wave converter has a source of 240 RMS voltage, 50 hertz and 10 ohm 50 milli henry 50 volt EMF opposing series load. The delay angle is 45 degree. Determine the average output voltage and current. Second one, RMS load voltage and RMS voltage across the RL part of the load. And the third one is the power absorbed by 50 volt load by EMF. So from the question, it is clear that the circuit is single phase, fully controlled, bridge rectifier with RLE load. So this one is the single phase, bridge rectifier, controlled, with the RLE load. And this one is the output current I0. And this one is the output voltage V0. This one is the supply voltage Vs. It is given that the delay angle alpha is equal to 45 degree and the frequency F is equal to 50 hertz. R is equal to 10 ohm. L is equal to 50 milli henry. E is equal to 50 volt. And VRMS is equal to 240 volt. First question is find out the average output voltage and current. V0 average. In case of fully controlled bridge rectifier with the RLE load, assume that continuous conduction mode, then the average value of output voltage is equal to 2 Vm by pi into cos alpha, which is equal to 2 into, we know that VRMS is 240 volt. Therefore, Vm is equal to root 2 into VRMS, which is equal to 339.4 volt. So, 2 into 339.4 into cos 45 divided by pi which is equal to 152.86 volt. So, this one is the average value of output voltage. Next is average value of output current. I0 average is equal to V0 average minus E divided by R. V0 average minus E divided by R. By applying mesh analysis, we will get this equation, which is equal to, instead of V0 average, 152.86 minus, instead of E, 50 volt divided by 10, which is equal to 10.28 ampere. The second part is find out the RMS load voltage and RMS voltage across the RL part of the load. In case of full wave bridge rectifier with the RLE load, V0 RMS is equal to Vm by root 2, which is equal to, we know that Vm is 339.4 divided by 
O2 is equal to 240 volt. And we also find out the RMS voltage across the RN part of the load. So, RMS voltage across the RN part of the load. V RN RMS is equal to total RMS voltage. Root of V0 RMS square minus this voltage E square which is equal to root of 240 square minus 50 square which is equal to 234.7 volt. And the last question is the power absorbed by the 50 volt load back EMF. So the power absorbed P is equal to E into I0 output current. E into I0 which is equal to 50 into I0 is 10.28 ampere. 10.28 ampere which is equal to 514 watt. Thank you.